and uh, it was talk about the next special project that I did. And this special project was a uh, exclusive with uh, USA Made Blade. And uh, as you guys know, last year at this time, we unveiled the uh, uh, exclusive USA Made Blade half track in a Spanto version. And those were very, very well received. Um, uh, extremely well received. Everybody really liked them. And of course, Denny, you're cut off. PM said. Uh, so, uh, so anyway, um, of course, immediately we we're like, okay, what are we going to do next year? We got to do, we have to do another exclusive next year. And, and that was, you know, I had, I wanted to do something really, really cool and really different with the half track. And, and it was, honestly, it was like, you know, my mind just kept going to a Warren Cliff. And, you know, the Warren Cliffs have always been really popular. And, and I thought, you know, with that size and everything, that a Warren Cliff would just be, would just be, you know, really kick ass. So I told Scott, and Scott was like, oh, yeah, he just couldn't, he just couldn't see it in his head. And, uh, and I, honestly, I really didn't either until I got, uh, got into my CAD and started drawing some lines and, uh, you know, coming up with, uh, you know, with a basic, uh, you know, with a basic shape and what I wanted it to do. And so, so the, uh, you know, the half track was kind of, the half track warning was kind of born. And, uh, you know, and I drew it up on the computer and I'm looking at it, I'm like, damn, you know, that it's really, uh, it was really different, you know, from all of my other Warren Cliffs, and and uh, you know, and I like, you know, I, I got to make a mock up. So a lot of a lot of times, I'll make a mock up of my knives, um, of new designs in wood, and I've I've done that for years. So you can kind of get an idea, put it in your hand, get an idea of how it's going to feel, and and. Uh, so I did this, and I'm like, oh, yeah, this is pretty damn cool. And, um, you know, because some of the, 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 some of the cutting properties of a, uh, with a Warren Cliff, I wanted to change. And, you know, a Warren Cliff is, is, a, is a straight edge. So how can you really change how a straight edge cuts? Well, you can. And let me explain some of the things that I did. Because, and I'll tell you what, this uh, this 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 design. Let me explain. This is the reason why I wanted to come on here because I want to explain uh, why it looks the way it does because it's different. It, it it's it's funky looking. I, I I guess that's just what you have to call it. It's funky looking, and uh, uh, but it has that. I know when I when I first sent it to Scott, he was like he molded over and he's like. Damn, and I'm like, I know, Scott, I can't get this out of my head. This design is just, it's so out there. It's just, I told him, I said, Scott, it, it, and it's funny. Every time I call him, he's like, man, he's, it, we got to do it. We got to do it because this, this thing is just, we couldn't, neither one of us could sleep. You know, I, I kept seeing this thing in my head, and it's like, this is just freaking cool. And um, so... So I went and I made a prototype and did some cutting with it and, and I'll tell you what, I really like this thing. It cuts completely different than the Warren Cliffs that you know. Um, Warren Cliffs in general, I should have brought one of my regular Warren Cliffs. I don't know if I have anything close, uh, like my XM18 Warren Cliff. But as you guys know, the, my regular Warren Cliffs the, uh, uh, it, it's a straight edge, but it's kind of, it's level. So you hold the knife, straight edge is kind of level, which is a lot of worn clips are like that. So there's a lot of good things about that, that type of an angle in a worn cliff. And uh, number one, it's uh, the, uh, you know, as a defensive blade, they really, uh, wait, I do have, I do have one. Hold on one minute, I'll be right back.
Okay, I do have one, actually. This is the new um, new LP1 in a Warncliffe. So, uh, so this is, uh, you can see how that blade is angled, you know, which is more straight in your hand. Now, for a defensive blade, that's really because as you're doing a slash that if you look at how the blade just kind of falls into the cut, so uh, which is really good in a defensive blade, and and for you know cutting things like this, it's 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 a great angle. So, and a regular a regular blade when you're cutting, it actually when you're when you're doing a slice, it actually cuts away. So this part here actually cuts away. So if you kind of imagine that 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 arc that arc when you're cutting, so it's hard to do it in front of a camera. But, but um, I think you guys kind of know what I'm talking about. So, uh, but this is great for slicing. This, the slicing part is because it really is aggressive and it wants to, so you can see it, it doesn't actually fall away. So the slicing is kind of a little bit, uh, you know, it's a, it's a different. And I'm, I'm going to get into this, uh, the new one. And I think Sam, uh, Sammy, you just uh, kind of touched on it. So obviously you've seen what... Uh, you know Scott Winnington put up. So uh, now the uh, the knife that I have, <laughs> I I didn't bring back one of the production ones that we uh, uh, that we uh, just sent out to Witty. So, but I brought back one, uh, which is a custom. So this one I ground uh, a couple days ago, and you guys can see it, and. Um, of course, it's really cool. I ground it uh, hollow grind, which is most all of my customs. So you can kind of see the the uh, the grinds there. And it's a beautiful. So so and you can see just how that one clip is angled. Oh yeah, I'm missing the lock bar stabilizer in the clip. So. I forgot to put them on. I'll do it tomorrow. So, but you can see the angle of that blade and how different that is than a regular angled, just like this. So you can see the, kind of the differences there in those angles. Now, that angle, what does that angle get you? This is what's really cool. When you're holding it, okay, See, when you're holding it like this, let me get around here so it's kind of, see how that angle is? So it's actually, now you have a worn cliff that actually now is a slicer. So when you're slicing with it or slicing like this, the blade, the edge, now th this isn't sharp by the way. So if you see me doing this, don't worry, I'm not gonna get cut. Um, but as you can see, it, 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 it actually slices away pretty much like the front of a regular spear point uh, or, or any type of knife with a belly. So, um, so this, again, when you're doing some of those cuts like this, you know, and I'm thinking a lot of everyday, you know, cutting uh, chores that maybe you guys didn't like the worn cliff with this type of an angle because of the fact of some of those cuts might be a little bit more difficult. And I'm thinking like, uh, you know, dressing a, a deer or something like that. Um, this, you, you've got that because that's one thing, one of the things when I started cutting with it and doing, uh, some experiments, I'm like, holy crap, that thing actually, it really slices well. Whereas a regular one like this, you kind of have to angle your hand a little bit to get it to slice. So this actually, this blade, the way that blade goes up like that actually gets that slicing down really well. And something that Sammy had touched on. Uh, and this is something I told uh, Witty the other day, is it, it also, when you're cutting stuff on a table or a bench or whatever, it actually gets your fingers up out of the way. So you can take and do some, you know, some uh, a, a different, you know, sliced tomatoes that way. You know, it's almost like, you know. So, um, so that's another thing that that angle like that really is useful Um you know, as far as as far as some of the other some of the cutting chores that maybe you wouldn't see a Warncliffe doing. Um, I mean, this is, this is almost like one of those knives where, if you're just not sold, if you've never been sold on a Warncliffe, 
I think you're going to be sold on this because it's a Warren Cliff, but in a lot of ways it doesn't act like a Warren Cliff. So, um, you know, it's just kind of a, it's a little odd when you first look at it. But, I mean, seriously, guys, you know, uh, you guys that, uh, that get one of these, take it out and, and really cut with it. And I'm, I think you're going to find it's going to be like, holy crap, uh, this is a Warren Cliff that, uh, um, you know, that really is, 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 will do a lot of other chores that it, it you know, that the, the, the other ones that, uh, uh, the regular type worn clips wouldn't do. So, uh, so yeah, so that's the, these are, uh, there's going to be two, I did two of the, uh, of the custom ones, um, that's going to be at the USA Made Blade Open House, uh, which is this weekend, Saturday, um, I don't know, Scott, if you can chime in and let them know what time. I'm thinking, it was 11 o'clock when it starts. Um, but anyway, uh, myself, Taylor, and Carrie's going. And unless I, unless I decide to leave them to a Tamarack on the way down. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but anyway, so that's going to be a long nine hours. Um, no, no, that, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, will they be at New York Custom Knife Show? Uh, John, no. Uh, they're only going to be, this is an exclusive with, um, USA Made Blade. So, been using mine like crazy the past three times. So truly makes for a great EDC user. Yeah, Scott, honestly, I think, uh, noon until six. That's when the open house is. But yeah, Scott, I think... A lot of people, when they really start using these, they're going to find that, um, you know, this is going to be the, the Warncliffe that, uh, that they'll probably want to go towards because it really is a great EDC Warncliffe. So, um, but yeah, these, again, these are a uh, USA Made Blade exclusive, so they're only going to be available through USA Made Blade. And uh, those guys will uh, get you hooked up. Now, I hope I'm not talking out of turn and saying uh, I talked to Scott the other day and he said there's a lot of excitement building around these so um, so I would say get your order in to Scott uh, pretty quick um, because I think when these get out there and really people really start using them they're they're going to be scarce I know a lot of them missed out on the uh, uh, on the um, Spanto blade from last year the spanto half track so don't uh you know don't wait around on these because i think these are probably gonna go even quicker